السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر بیک ود اور لیکچر نمبر فور فار لیول سکس انگلش یونٹ ون سو ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹارٹ اور ورڈ اسٹڈی ایکسرسائزز آن پیج نمبر سیون آئی ہوپ یو آل ول انڈرسٹینڈ اٹ اینڈ انجوائے اٹ اوکے بوائز سو لک وی ول ڈو ایکسرسائز اے دین ایکسرسائز بی دین ایکسرسائز سی and then we will do this exercise e exercise d is not included you can put a small cross with it now start with your exercise a on page number 7 comprehension similes make interesting comparisons ring the word that completes each simile so first of all you all should know that what are similes these are comparison words okay when you compare one thing to another that is called a simile so the first statement is done for you as easy as abc or animals so the first the word easy is related to abc and that is why you encircle it as cool as a cucumber or a cone so the word cool is relating here to cucumber more so you will encircle it as cold as apples or ice definitely ice as good as trees or gold gold as plain as a day or patterns day as bold as angels or brass brass as wise as an elephant or owl owl because you have started it in unit 1 the old wise owl as black as leaves or coal so the word here black is relating more to coal so this is how you will do your exercise a now let's move towards the exercise b vocabulary ring the correct word to complete each comparison thus this is also in done in the same way bread is to baker as house is to now who makes the bread for you baker so who makes the house for you builder florist chemist teacher builder so you will encircle it stop is to go as rough is to now these are words opposite stop is to go as rough is to fast kind smooth or sharp smooth snow is to white as sky is to now this is the comparison for colors snow is of white color so sky is of blue color bath is to bathroom as bed is to sleep bedroom comfy mattress bedroom so this is how you will do your exercise a and b on your book with a pencil now let's move towards the exercise c exercise c is all about add a second syllable to make a word now do you know what is a syllable a syllable is a word that is used in pronunciation it divides a word into parts now first of all the first one is done for you track so you see this is the first syllable tractor this is tor is the second syllable when you say tractor there is a break in between and that is the syllables now some words have one syllable some have two or more syllables plus tick or plus t may your may be wizard happy lee far mer far der party parent holy hollow person nibble family famous puppy and pupil so the first syllable was done for you and you added a second syllable to make a word exercise d is not included and you will put a cross on it and let's move towards the exercise e so boys this exercise e on page number 7 is very interesting it is more relating to the alphabets that we have in english language so use the alphabet to answer the questions okay now look at your question number 1 how many letters are there between g and n so the first one i have done for you they are asking that how many letters are there between g and n so i have written from g to n h i j k l m n n so between g to n you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 six alphabet so you your first answer will be 6 how many vowels are there in the alphabet so i wrote here alphabet for you and you know what are vowels a e i o u so you have 1 2 and 3 vowels so your answer will be 3 how many letters have a curve so in your alphabets how many letters have a curve so b c d g j o p q r s and u so 11 in total have a curve which letter is the same number of letters from m and from q so if you write from m till q n o p so if you re, uh, remove n and p one from each side what is in the center o so your answer will be Oh, so this is how very interestingly 
very easily you can uh, do your exercise e on your books so boys today your lecture was about word study un, uh, unit 1 page number 7 you did exercise a by understanding the similes exercise b as well then exercise c was all about the syllables exercise d was not included and the last exercise e it was very interesting just you have to understand the question and then answer the questions at the end you all have to do it with your pencils thank you so much allah hafiz